so we just got done with the, our yoga class here at your studio at your home um, in California, Los Angeles. And uh, Rosemary? Yes. Uh, if Rosemary <laughs> Douglas is my name. Rosemary Douglas. And um, my studio is Rafe Yoga Studio, and I do healing yoga. I'd like to open up the body and incorporate core work, which is so important for back strength, and I meet so many people with back problems. Mm -hmm. And I use props, chairs, blankets, bolsters, whatever, because I want to make it easy for everybody. Very comfortable for yes. everyone. Yeah, so my philosophy is I like to open you up, because you might have, have tension in your neck, shoulders, low back. Then we weave into some strengthening poses. Core is very important. The stretching on hamstrings, tight hamstrings to make your back mm -hmm. hurt. So I like to open up the hip hamstrings. And then we mm -hmm. Why do you think it's important for people to do to practice yoga? Well, it's very beneficial, first of all, to get centered, calm your mind, create a flexible, strong spine. Because as we age, after the age of 20, the venous blood supply to the disc atrophies, so we need to keep bringing nutrients to the disc mm -hmm. and flush out toxins so keep on moving. Also, as we age, the respiratory system gets tight and muscles you need to be able to breathe. So, for flexibility, for youth, mm -hmm. vitality. What age is a good age to start doing yoga? Any age. <laughs> Even as a, a little kid, three-year-old, four-year-old. Or a kid in a womb <laughs> yes. for prenatal yoga. We're already doing it. Actually, I have one mom who brings her four-year-old, and she copies us, and it's just so beautiful. And even to start late is excellent. You could start 50, 60, and we just go slow. I use chair yoga also for some of my people, special needs. I also teach prenatal. I love, I love beginners and also new moms who know that they need to stretch, prevent sciatica, mm -hmm. also tension in their neck, being nervous, so I can teach children, baby boomers, 20, 30 year olds. Because I feel like you're a very timeless teacher. You oh. really know how to read your student and give them, nurture them in a way yeah. that they need to be nurtured. That's what I love. I, I teach from the heart and I love to help people discover their bodies and maybe they don't realize the uh, frantic. Once they feel the calmness, the breath, and just get acquainted with that newness that you can have strength in this new uh, calmness, centeredness, being mm -hmm. grounded. And in today's environment more than ever, I feel like yoga is essential. Uh, just being in your car all the time, oh, driving, yeah. being on your computer. Oh, yeah. Even just walking, practicing standing tall, breathing, having your heart and feet being planted on the ground. So that's you said a really lovely thing after class today about today is Saturday, it's your day to run errands, it's your day to play, but remain, walk tall, walk strong, and be grounded. Ourselves. I have to do all these things in our head, but still, okay, let me enjoy the day, let me enjoy the breath, let me be calm, enjoy the people I'm with, love the people, um, just being aware of where you are. Live each day as a, as a gift. What would you do with this gift, this body that we have as a gift? What, how do we treat it? What do we eat? We just had a nice garbanzo <laughs> bean salad from Katrina over there. So. <laughs> so feed your body, feed your mind. Yes, and also your spirit, your soul. Just being, like you said, kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. We get to be kind to ourselves, and we always push and causing stress in our life. And if once we realize what stress is, how it affects us, it ages us, and it kills our ourselves in retreat and we want to keep going forward and enjoying life. And <laughs> did I say Rafa Yoga? <laughs> yes. In West Palooza Lake. Oh, in retreat and we want to keep going forward and enjoying life.